So when it comes to Avada theme customization, there's really one area in the Avada theme that's going to allow you to customize basically every element of the website. Outside of, of course, the, the pages themselves, you know, building the pages uses a backend builder. But if you want to customize, say, the header, like the background color up here on the top, or the footer, or the background of any page or the blog or anything like that, you come here to Avada and click Global Options. And the Global Options section is really the Avada theme's core uh, customization area, we'll say. <laughs> so <laughs> within here, you're going to see a whole slew of different customization options. So like I was just talking about with the header, if you click on header, then there's going to be some different options here. And if you click header styling, this is that header top background color. It's that brown color that you see up top here. So if you wanted to change that to black or red or some other color, then you can just click that over, click save settings, and that's going to customize that top bar of the website. Now there's a lot going on in here, everything from the menu to the logo, page title bars, sidebars, blog. So it can be a lot to sort through at times. Like if you're looking for something very specific and you're not exactly sure where it is, buttons would be a great example. Then there's this search bar up here where you can just type in button, click enter, and then that's going to show you all of the different customization features for buttons. So you have general blog buttons like the load more button and you can customize the colors there. And then there's a whole section here for the Avada builder element which is what we use to create these buttons like you see here. And so you can see that the main gradient color is this green and then when you hover over it it turns black and then the text turns white and it kind of alternates back and forth there so that's just done right here you can have the text on ho hover turn white and then the regular button text is black you can even add a border you can do all sorts of different stuff within here so Really, you just kind of have to get, I don't want to say get used to it, but you kind of have to just explore around and see what all is, is available. Everything from customizing the footer, where we have the copyright information down here, to you know the background color of this footer widget area. All of that can be customized, for the most part, from the back end here. And then if there's something very specific, style wise that you want to customize that there's not an option for here you can also add custom css so you can see we've added quite a few different additional color customizations uh, in this section here and then the avada builder elements that i was talking about earlier so these are the elements that you'll use on the page so everything from buttons to these separators these are all called avada builder elements and you can customize those in here as well. So everything from, you know, the widget area to titles, even the columns. So we can see that there's four columns here. We can customize the columns. So say we want to give every single column 20 pixels of padding or margin on the bottom, which we've done here. That basically prevents these from stacking right on top of each other. So on a mobile device, there will be 20 pixels of padding or margin below each of these. So they stack nicely and look really good. So that's the core of the Avada customization. Obviously, I don't have time to go through every single one of these. <laughs> I mean, you can do a video on each of these individually because uh, there's just so much here. But definitely use that search feature if if you're struggling to find something very specific that you want to edit 
otherwise you should be able to just use these categories to figure out most of what what needs to be or where things are that you want to change so i hope you found that helpful if there's anything on here that you have questions about as far as customization just feel free to drop your questions down below in the comments and i'll respond there and until next time take care Thank <laughs> you.